But yeah, this is gonna be tough, as always, for Living Legend. We'll see. He, of course, has been in much worse situations in a lot of different tournaments before. So, uh, honestly, with the mag uh, the Magnum support on top of this, it can stop both of the assist calls that uh, Joker can have. Uh, really stops the Sentinel approach and the uh, the Iron Man with the Unity. So, if he can get something going for both of that, he should be able to kind of play a little bit better neutral than some other. Wow! What an air confirm! On the it was like the jump fly straight into like the, the flight back down. Wow. That was actually kind of ridiculous from Joker. Perfect place of where he was and to confirm off of what Legend was going to be better in the neutral at the top corner. And straight back into the Iron Man Infinite. Yes, sir. Curtains on Chris. Coming in on Wesker. Now this could be a little bit tough. Gets the air throw. Okay. Throwing us nothing good on Legend. Let's see. Go for the snap and actually want Sentinel early. I can cer certainly agree with this because if you get the kill on Sentinel and you won't be able to at least now. I get what he's going for. Then you get the neutral assist going in for the Magneto. Uh, it doesn't seem like that's going to happen now. Spending the X Factor early to get rid of Wesker. But this is indeed Legend's best character. And with that mix, uh, it doesn't matter if it's the best character or not. You got to block that incoming. Hey, and thank you so much, uh, JMC Spazitron, for the resub again. Ten months. Thank you so much, guys. Of course, the love and support tonight has been fantastic. Yeah, we appreciate that. It, it makes the night a lot more fun. It obviously makes Tong's night a lot more fun because he deserves money. He deserves support. It's not easy holding down big tournaments like this week to week, multiple games, running a crew. One of the best traveling road. We talked about this right at the top of the show. One of the best traveling road crews out there right now. So thank you guys. If you're dropping your Twitch Prime on the channel, you only get one. It really means a lot for you to bring it here. Thank you so much. That looks like uh, we're going back straight into neutral again. Uh, unless Joker can get like another stick confirmed, just like in the first game. Uh, seems like we can actually like kind of hold down a little bit with that shotgun and the magnum support too. Actually throwing way more of the uh, the flame grenade just to make sure like it doesn't like go in in front of legend. Yeah, you know I think I think what really is the bigger problem at play here is not is not Chris versus Magnum. I think the assists are playing way bigger of a factor in this matchup right now. And you know what's a big difference in the matchup too? Switching to the Dante. Now we haven't seen Legends Dante that much, but I can at least say that he has been working on it quite often. Uh, it is getting much better as it has been like over the past like maybe few years I've seen it. So hopefully we get to see more of it because it's just it's a really strong assist of course with Jam and to help with the Tatsu approach. Chris Jam is really good, so if anything he can kind of make this work. <laughs> Man. I, is it weird that I'm kind of scared for Living Legend uh, to see Iron Man kind of like walking Dante down because uh. there's no edge factor? I mean, if you get Akuma here, you're not really going to have to spend much. This is going to be a pretty easy kill, so now you're massively ahead of Joker. Legend had a great time at getting rid of the Magneto at the beginning of the round, but you still can't get rid of literally one of the best Iron Man in the business. No matter what character it is, if you're the best of it, it's still a threat. So, yeah, Legend's going to have to try to make an adjustment to not be set in to losers in top eight this early. I like the Dante, the Dante. though. Dante. Okay. I like it's gonna it. Have I'm to okay with it. The entire time. I'm, I'm okay with it. I think it's cool. I think that... I think... The assist makes a lot of sense, but it's just because maybe Living Legend isn't completely always at the distances that they need to be. Oh man. And also, it's a little bit the case that, Ro not Roger, excuse me, Tatsu and Jam Session fight at a similar distance. But Joker can mix it up between Beam and between drones. So it's, it's a little bit more dynamic, but this is good. Living Legend is, is winning this point in war. Oh, are you kidding Joker me? Joker was, oh, was so close on making Magneto survive that, but just a little bit off, especially with that other grenade still being in play. Almost super so sick, but at least gets the kill on Chris. So let's see if he can... Oh, actually, Meth is up. I think he wanted to maybe either go for an air throw or maybe another repulsor, but Dash is out underneath Dante. 
Oh man. So this is a situation where being, you know, part time at a character can be really difficult because you need you really need something big to happen there because this is gonna be tough for Akuma. At least the X Factor has already been activated for Joker. So if Akuma can get some separation, oh baby, even better. He finds a hit. X Factor will confirm into a dead Iron Man. And now we just have Sentinel. Oh, oh my goodness, legend, please. Okay, this is it. This is the start. Let's see if he, can, he has to stick with this team, though. He can't switch. So even though his Dante may not be on point or whatever, he's got to still stick with it. But he can make it work. Living Legend got a little bit lucky there that that, 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 that super even hit. I mean, it looks so weird. It didn't look like that was going to hit at all. And But that's what I was talking about at the head of the set. That's what he wants to do. He wants to get in your face, make it ugly, create problems, create skirmishes, and find wins from them. And he's kind of getting away with it again right now. Joker back and puts the wall and doing a lot of damage here. One meter is just going to put it away. It should be easy. And just oh, like you said, yeah, got that one hit, especially with that Tatsu. Oh. Gets the shimmy and doesn't actually confirm. Oh. Tatsu is there to save the day to continue the hit on Iron Man. Let's see if we can actually get the setup confirmed with that jam session. Nice. Get that little bit extra mirror build and the level three right on top of that. <laughs> But like I was about to say, but we have another tool here. We have the jam session. So while the opponent's back is against the corner, it's a lot harder for them to just go over the top like they usually can against Living Legend. That right. jam session is actually doing a lot of work with this position. And I think Living Legend is doing the smart thing right here by not calling any assist. What did we talk about earlier when Joker was on the screen? He had Sentinel left and he had four meters. He's going to try to get Hyper Signal Force. My God. Combo, but he's not going to get it. And he's still got the Hail Mary 1 2. Legend got That's super so lucky with that, but still squeaked it out. That was so clutch, bro. You're absolutely right. He got lucky. That could have got scuffed with the grenade. Things could have got you know, messed up for a second time in that combo. But they don't. And he gets the throw and immediately goes to the X Factor. I like this decision. Get a nice, efficient kill. Look, no meter spent. You're looking great. You're ahead in everything, except for the X Factor right now. You get the meeting set up on Iron Man. The pressure is on. The Jam Session doing his job. Joker actually trying to stuff out with that. And gets the happy birthday, but no confirm. That repulsor really doesn't help out too much in a lot of happy birthday situations, especially when they're so low to the ground. So that's really unfortunate. He could have spent that X Factor and gotten a full hit. Oh, and boy. Oh, yeah, because of Sentinel, that doesn't really work. But we're in a good situation now. Ah, okay. What? I don't know about putting a Kuma out in this vulnerable situation, but... Oh my goodness, those I'm fireballs are not kidding. He obliterates the Sentinel drones. Wow. Mm. But, I mean... I mean here. I wouldn't have thought that that would actually work, but... So far, it's working out well for Legend. Unfortunately, does lose his, uh, his anchor comeback. But gets the 1-2, and no! Oh, no! He got that could have been it. Still with jam session, doing it, job. Oh my God, the jam session has made such a difference. This has absolutely made such a huge difference. This, this is making all the difference, but particularly the reason why Living Legend is taking Joker to the limit here. Oh my God, that was so close. That was as close as you could get without touching that fire. Both of these guys go have a lot of swings and not being able to really commit and confirm. But it seems like Legend is still in the driver's seat, still being able to like Barely get the kill on Iron Man, but not quite. You have to try to dash it and get a little bit extra damage here. He's gonna run out of X Factor, or not X Factor, Devil Trigger. See if he can kind of capitalize on that. Oh, With not so that good. really good of a horizontal assist, too. Oh, okay. no. We're okay. Yeah, it's not gonna hit. It's too far. So, oh man, I was just about to say, it. so what we need to do is not take any big risks. But he does take one, and immediately it turns off. So what am I thinking, bro? What is this? Okay, okay, it works. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I thought, I, okay, if it was any other Tridash character, he would have been able to try and punish both of those on that team super. But Wesker assist is mostly just an OTG, and you do have some unblockable subs with it. But uh, yeah, I mean, having the jam session help out was, was a little big deal. I, I'm impressed. Moving on next into the top eight, we have now Monday and Jason Kiddo. A lot of people's favorites to be pretty much in the grand finals. So we'll see if uh, who's going to be moving on closer to that here. Jason getting the first hit. Should be able to get the kill on Nova. 
Okay, so I said earlier that uh, Monday plays on a different gear. And that is absolutely true. But when it comes to Jason, and this is also true of Lamasama, they both just have this property. Um, you play at their pace. That's that's not negotiable. That's not negotiable. Uh, whether they always play at the right pace or not, it, it sometimes varies. That can be their strength or their weakness. But you are forced to play at their their pace. It's, it's not negotiable. Now, Mundig is definitely another one of those players that uh, for sure can make this comeback on just the Magneto himself. He does have X-Factor already spent, but four and a half bars, about to build five here. Uh, gonna spend a lot of that X-Factor time too, just to kill uh, Jason Kiddo. Uh, swinging it back and forth, right, left, right, left, and not even being able to fully commit and kill. Uh, and now that X-Factor is gone, he's gonna have to make this super honest. And now with that stalking player DHC, Tries to get just to the other side and barely not able to make it. Uh, Jason just barely able to squeak out of that and get that stalking flare just to confirm a little bit, but he still has a little bit of a hill to climb. Not that much when he gets that mix up too. And again, another drop, but now it's chip territory. I'm, I'm looking at what man. I, okay, so he loses the first round. This is a good round for Jason, no doubt about that. But I'm looking at the way. Uh, Mundank was playing with Magneto in that in that situation. He was hung. He was hunting. He was definitely playing well. Uh, it wasn't like heated. It wasn't any sort of taking the the life off, taking the stock off, so to speak. And here we are in the Cold War. A very calculated to confirm off that uh, Magneto assist, which has really just been such an innovation for this gameplay. Uh, oh man! <laughs> It's classic. It's classic. You, ne you never really can get to the end of that. You know, you really just have to make sure that you can see it right at the end to know where you're going to be at. And unfortunately with the Parsec, it's a little bit too hard to like kind of switch it off at the last second, even if you do see it. So uh, very well executed for Monday. But spending the X-Factor just to make sure to get the kill on Magneto. Uh, still could be really good for him in the end. But leaving out Dormammu with X Factor on top of that could be detrimental to your loss. But let's see if Monday can kind of keep it together. Dude, it, you feel so bad with, in this situation with Hagger. I was about to say, you gotta get Dormammu in as soon as possible. And to even get a punish with Gauda playing, that's pretty good. Um, getting a stalking player on the screen would have been fine, but Nova goes down. And yeah, so now we get the stalking player on the screen. We tag back oh, into Hagger no. versus Spencer. This is a good matchup for Hagger. We can definitely work with this. Let's see what he does. Actually goes for down TAC. Gets a little bit extra. Like, you know, I've never really seen the down TACs from Jason all that much. Yeah, he actually had him, to go for a second TAC, which... Into the corner. Yeah, yeah, he was absolutely right. He's fighting with his back against the corner. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a punish. Very, very good job by Mundane. Perfect spacing. And what do we follow up with here? A TAC oh. of his own, and actually switches it and messes up the confirm. Has the spin to win. Not able to get the kill on the Spencer, though. Okay. This is a this is a good matchup for Magneto, and he finds the hit pretty quick. But now you have Hagger, which is terrible. I mean, really, you get... Oh, that was good. That was very good. Very, yeah. very good. Great setup for that. And should be able to get the kill. Uh, can actually just super super with the ADK and should be able to kill here. Yep, there we go. Very nice from Mundank. And now he's going to pick it up 1 1. That really was like both back and forth. Just kind of like a lot of swings, a lot of like X Factor oh. early. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it, it is probably one of the best Haggards in the business, but that's still quite hard, especially with only 20 seconds left. I think. Um... I think that was kind of a statement game for Monday. Uh, we, we saw some adjustments that really paid off. We saw a snap on Hagger that really got things going. And it looks like we're about to get a very similar situation. Oh, we're going to go for a TAC. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of, both, uh, both these guys really going for TACs. Like, oh, boy. And now with that X Factor, too, with the spin to win, Jason really just wants to get the momentum on his side again, which I don't think. Hacker with the nine hit combo that does like 70% damage. Only needs one man to really take care of most of the health in this game. And with the headbutt, like not the counter hit, but like still a counter haul to get the full confirm. It's so and weird. Into another hit. Counter oh, haul with bro. the headbutt on Magneto stopping the assist. 
dude. Oh my god. That was such a double coverage because yeah, you're putting the pressure on and you get a disgusting punish on the assist. Oh, oh boy. Oh my god, Jason is just three steps ahead of this man. So actually lets him fall to the stalking player. And now hard tags, that, this is so smart in Jason. Wears down the X-Factor time, even gets the confirm. Now he's at half of X-Factor and pushing him back to the corner. That was really smart from Jason. Yeah, I would say playing on perfect form right now from Jason. Oh, great defense, knowing that there was a potential to be air to air into a combo by someone as strong as Monday. He could definitely convert those from Jupiter Jump Height. Blocks it all out, and now just put a, putting a wall in front. Ooh, is he gonna be sticky? Is he gonna punish? Yep. He actually, yeah, he perfectly like push blocked at the perfect time to squeak right through. So now this still isn't over for Monday. He just needs two hits. Oh, Monday can make these happen. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a classic. He's look at him. He's playing so calculated. Not no autopilot here, ladies and gentlemen. He is watching. Oh, oh, oh the calculations are incorrect. You you forgot about the equivalent exchange of the pipe. You forgot. You're right. You're right. <laughs> He was putting all the thought he could have in the world, and Jason just said, nah, dude. Nah, I, Let I me got, simplify for you, bro. <laughs> Yo, shout out to you, uh, Edson Powell, man. A uh, Monday Fan Club going to agree more. We're having a great match tonight. But right now, Monday got himself against the rope. Oh, that was uh -huh. very clean. Very nice, because Monday has gone for the TFC twice already in this set, and now actually switched it up. So now he's able to get that confirmed off of the Hagar. Oh, and that's bad. He's just not coming in, blocking, oh, and unfortunate you're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're absolutely kidding me. That is a I think horrible is lovely, dog. I mean, that's the call, absolutely. Keep Magneto in there, go for the mix on Spencer. This could be really, really bad for Monday. Oh boy, he is hunting, dude. Oh, that was it. He had the hit and gets the confirm from there, too. Very nice and great awareness from Jason, as of course he does all the time. Yeah, that was that was excellent, excellent high level pressure from Jason because what he was doing was putting high enough block stun buttons on the target that if they whiffed, he would still be safe enough to not get by on the final. So, very intelligent pressure. But Monday, oh my god. That was such a clean escape. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. minute. He doesn't want to get set into losers this early. Gets the break, and then, of course, the tried edge. Right back into it. And just like that, 2 2. Dude, what? What? You guys are getting your money's worth here tonight, guys. These guys both really want to get further into the grand final set. They don't want to come at it from the loser's side. So let's see who's going to be taking this next one and has to see it in the winner's final. Big start. Big start here. I mean, as we've seen, we're going to probably get a TAC or a snap. What are we thinking? Oh, really? Actually just brings him in. Just trying to get a little bit more meter. Honestly, like kind of just building off of the Hagar. And this really isn't that bad situation. You know, you get the kill on Hagar either way. Just spending a little bit more resources and a little bit of time spent. So no, yeah, that's that's super critical. The fact that he will have that assist available to get the extra 80k. Yeah, man, Monday, that is so smart. That is so good. Being able to get a oh, no. kill off that touch. That crouching light with that cross up too, with that assist to cover it as well. Very calculated on Monday, and just like that. Unless uh, Jason can have a solo Magneto come back on his own too. And Monday is really. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah. Oh no, he had the assist instead of Nova, but he's still good. Still not in a bad spot. Bro. Oh okay. man. Okay. What's it? What's it? Oh no! He fed it all on black on the mix Dude. and he blocked it. Oh, Monday was two steps ahead on that one. You're kidding me. it again. One more. You're kidding me. And there it is. Bro. Oh my god. Because what we saw Jason do. Gosh. With uh, Deadpool like kind of stopping a lot of it going on. I don't think that he meant to do random all. So yeah, I'd probably back out. Um, but yeah. Or either way, like with that, with the counter calls on the uh, Iron Man assist as well. Um, that can really help out on a lot of confirms with Deadpool as well, and also uh, with the Mythical's extension too. So it's not too bad, it's just 
It's just not oh, really. Oh, sniped his color. Sniped him. Love it. Beautiful. I love seeing the dirty dastardly cat. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. Okay, so here's the thing. First of all, we're starting Iron Man. That's crazy. That's already an incredible uh, part of this map. Uh, second of all, the the potential statement that Sophia can make by winning this match is huge. A massive potential. However, third, I am afraid that Escalante is going to come into this match like vicious. Like this yeah. is going to be especially hard for Sophia. Like, oh my god. Like that that kind of that kind of play right there is exactly what I'm talking about. Just the the fly unfly classic way of mixed up like just pure disrespect right off the start. Offensive play. Dastardly. Oh my god, look at this! Like literally. It's this too layered. It's too layered. And not oh not god. one of these characters can really stop a point back Edo. So if he were starting the Morgan a little bit, maybe it would be a little better off just to so kind of hype out and maybe get the counter assist calls. But starting Magneto is just it's honestly a better matchup in general. He's gonna stick it out here. Okay. Bringing Deadpool out instead, I think, is much better because Iron Man, I feel like, is way more prone to getting bullied. So here you have some options. You have the guns. You have, you know, the grenade, the, the knives. Oh my God! But he's just not even and giving you know, any it's, space. It's just he's too fast. It's he has too strong of a movement options when he has both uh, Morgan and for Doom to just layer it all. He's just too good. Just a too good of a shell on this. So. And Sophia's gonna have to make something happen now. And with just Iron Man, yeah, just X Factor. There's not really much that Ethan can really worry about at this point, so. God. I mean, SDTs are indeed a thing. You have foot dive, you got four bars, and you got X Factor, so it only takes one. So brutal. I mean, Dr. Doom has everything to make this happen if a couple of things go right. But that is absolutely not what you not want. It. Not <laughs> it. Getting hit is usually not what you want as a player, but it's really too hard really to kind of get away from someone as like bulldozer of a team as Ethan has. So he only needs one more and we're barely like three minutes into this match. So yeah. there's, there's, a, there's a killer instinct on Escalante's play right now. I can absolutely sense it. I was I was already fearing it a little bit heading into this matchup, and and I know if you're Sophia, you know, top eight is great, this is a big deal, but you want more. You want to push through more steps. It's rough for Deadpool right now. Iron Man's going to have to make a stake here. Great block. Yeah, Iron Man blocked. All right. So, now we can get the party started. We have, we have a chance. We have a chance here. Great DAT. So smart. Covers the missile. Punish? Okay, this okay. is great. This is it! This is what we needed! This is everything that we needed to turn this entire thing around. If you can make big punishes like that and force out errors from overconfident play like that was from Escalante, we could we could actually see a game changer. Now that's one touch, and now he does have a solo doom of his own. I've seen plenty of times where Oh god. Wow. Alright. So he really had that hit, but not able to capitalize. If any oh, SVT man. can really make it happen, Ethan's is definitely up there for sure. With that happy birthday, just needs just two more hits. They are playing right now, yo. Oh, yeah. oh All right, well, he that's does not get what I meant. That's not what I meant. Of a mix with that, but it's so slow that you can really see like it coming a mile away. The Ooh, Iron Man almost trying to beat Magneto. He's trying yo. his hardest out. Watch out. Please, watch out. You're not getting level 3 things, man. Oh, come on, Sophia. Relax, relax. It's okay. Can I actually get oh. hit by the smart bomb? No, I actually just get through with the relax. finger laser. Relax. Iron Man oh. might actually just be chipped smart. out. Choose it's a hard tag. Really smart. So smart. Get him out. Very well done. Okay. That was a good match. That was a good match. And not just because it was a win, but because it was from behind. Oh. oh what was that? He just straight up office tag right at the ah. beginning of the match and then just for his trouble he's like you know what that was probably an error let's just get him right back in and now i'm gonna steer roll once again i don't know what to say i don't know what to say so the only upside here is yes we have lost 
Deadpool. However, the X Factor has come out. So if we can somehow endure, which is looking pretty difficult right now. Uh, and with the TAC2, Ethan really doesn't drop these. However, it is Parsec, so you never can really like kind of say yes or no if he will drop this. Uh, it, it really is a fast kill on top of that too. So if it feels like he wants to end early, he can level three and then bring back in Magneto for the safe DC. Just too much layers going on right on top for Doom to come in. And yeah, even with Tony dropping, it's not really much because yeah, the pressure is right back on. Uh, right now. Okay, yeah. well, SDP in the stream, five bars. You got five finger lasers. You got to start now. It does it a little bit too early, in my opinion. Oh, oh. All right. It's I mean, you may as well. Like, if you it, it would have been still really good for Ethan. You know, this does miss, but it's not really that bad of a loss either way. It can still just completely get out of the situation. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it was a good fight, man. Okay. All right. All right. The food is being right. played with right now, right. as we can see. All right. But that honestly, like, when you're already up the 2 1 with that convincing lead. You may as well just try to style a little bit, try to free yourself, so. And this is, where is he playing this? Yeah, this, the, he has played this for sure, like. For, I've seen him uh, do it, yeah, I've seen him do it. Uh, you know, he's not, he's definitely not playing the regular DXP, so. Let's go DXP, do the funnies, oh, the sure yeah, you can, do the sure you can, yeah. baby, okay. Party, party, har, har, Ryu, yeah, that's real, real funny. Playing <laughs> but, Street Fighter uh, 6 Ryu, I love to see it. You know, he, he, he does like a lot of DP, so you know, he'll, he'll get a hit on you know one of these characters at some point, I'm sure. KJ, however, uh, no means not interested in jerking in the slightest, not interested in memeing in the slightest. He's just gonna go straight to the bullshit, uh, keep this pretty simple, and try to lane this out. Oh, super, not gonna hit or does. There's a Kuma, maybe. You know, Yikes. there's not really much to say when uh, when you see DXP's uh, super ultra side team. Uh, <laughs> like you, you, you get the kill on Morgan. If he does win this, I would be extremely surprised. You know, uh, especially since he is coming from like the ADMS category from all the way on the West Coast on his own office. Uh, but either way, you know, it's still cool to see him like in these tournaments. Uh, we'd love to see a little bit more of like the regular DXP. Hopefully, like if he loses a game or two. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what he uh, pulls out. Yeah, I mean, honestly, bro, the way I also see it, he I don't is get annoying that player. Yeah, he, the, the virtual X Factor has already been popped. And so far, we do have. Oh, man. We do still have a stock for. I was going to say we had X Factor in stock for, for Ryu, but it hasn't blown. We basically got nothing out of it. But we are going to vaporize Dr. Dude. Melted off the face of this area. Oh, does get that hit on Ryu, but still, I don't know how the ordinary guy is still surviving. It has survived, but I mean, good on DXP for getting the first game. You know, I I don't really have much words on how that happened, but let's see if KJ can fix it. <laughs> it's a lot of shrugs going on. You can't see it, but I am shrugging. I wouldn't want to lose DXP's, you know, ultra side team either. However, however, I probably would. So <laughs> it doesn't oh, really yeah. matter. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is DXP at uh, at the very basic Frieza form. You know, this is just yeah, level. You're one, right. You know? He's chilling in the chair. He's yeah. not. He's not even at his full combo. His full Holding strength. around. Well, that's the thing. Is basically, if you're KG Master. All you know is you need to simplify. That's it. You have the better team. You have the winning matchup. We talked so much about matchups tonight. Definitely 100%. This is a nightmare scenario for all the characters on DXP's team. You just need to remember that. Play smart. Play sharp. Don't feel disrespected. Don't get baited in anything. And just do your thing. And what's great enough also is that when he has Morgan on screen, any of the uh, Iron Man beams, actually, as long as she can kind of crouch, she just ducks underneath all of them. So if he could just kind of wait that out, just kind of wait for the beam to kind of go off, he can just completely whiff that entire time. So he doesn't have to even take any chips because she's so short. 
But I think we are seeing a little bit of cluster, right? Like we're seeing the fly and then not a very clean unfly, eight begin being there. So whatever DXP is doing, it seems to be working at least a little bit. And I think the issue here is if we bring in Virgil because Morgan's low, we have no meter right now. So that's pretty bad. And Dr. Doom is bleeding about 30%. Oh my god, the powered up Dinjin Shinku Adoku. Wow. No oh, Wesker? Okay. Like, I don't know how this is working. I really don't get it. KJ's, I believe, uh, either, either in Puerto Rico or Florida, you know, at least at the current time. So he should have a better MS deal than, you know, DXP, at least for this. So he should be able to react in a better spot, but DXP is just calling out Hottos. <laughs> like it, like it's, it's a Street Fighter 4 or something, you know? <laughs> we burned the X Factor to kill Ryu. Great. <laughs> I mean, we have to at this point. They've all been proven that they are actually a threat. And this is a good setup for KJ. Perfect. There we go, baby. Right. Yeah, it's top tier stuff. There we go. That's yeah. Let's let's be on the old top tier and then with the new. Very well done. You know, calling the missiles, not over risking, not over extending, but a basic and impressive mix up. Finds the hit and puts it away. Oh, beautiful! Confirm off the uppercut. I love to see those, man. Yeah, you, you definitely it, like saw those more from like a Terry Bogart situation, you know, like he was definitely one of those like extension oh, yeah. heavies with those uppercuts from Morgan. They're still regarded as one of the best uppercuts in the game for sure. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. and a great alpha counter. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Morgan's got a lot of tools, man. It's a, it's a gifted character that is for sure. Oh. All right. They still got a little more neutral coming in. Uh, Dash is in when the uh, the beam is there, so actually loses uh, loses Ryu, the ordinary guy. You know the the difference maker of this oh. set for sure. Ooh, very well done by DXP, recognizing that the combo was getting a little weird. Just goes ahead and supers, gets the glasses off. Here comes the big confirm. Doctor Doom's gonna go down with not a lot of problems. Okay. Make what are we gonna do here? Oh, it gets that weird. Kind of I like how he just used like the regular normal then mm -hmm. instant teleporter with that to hide it. That was yeah. really smart. Yeah, that was very well done by uh, DXP. And then we get the, yeah, get the situation with the X Factor where he has some frame advantage, but can't make anything out of it. And after the teleport, he takes him after finds a hit. Gonna kill Wesker pretty easily here and get a monster set up on incoming. Could be very simple. In fact, too simple. DXP able to block, we just go for the super, but oh no, my god, sir, Tony. Even with that X Factor confirm, like with that speed up, just not even able to get that cannon out. He's just so slow, it's such a huge thing. 2 1, KJ Massa going up to. All right. <laughs> Mad Sport now. We're not seeing it. DXP at full prime tonight. I get it, the ADMS is there, but. Damn. No. DXP, I respect it, and I think he's even like pretty nice with this team. I'll say it. I'll, I'll give him his props. Definitely like a little wild, you know. It's definitely out there. No one really has, uh, no oh, really boy. has that many Westers or Ryu's or Iron Man's. So you know, if you can oh. kind of make it kind of work together, then you may as well. Hold on now. So this is, mm, yeah, this is a bit weird because we burn the X Factor, unfortunately. But it was a good idea. I mean, I saw what KJ was going for. They wanted to trigger the punch on our tag. Uh, almost to confirm with the last bit of the missiles too. But you know, again, I'm not going to count KJ out. You know, he's still in a very uh, favorable situation here. You yeah. know, had the hard tag in with Ryu too. The X factor imbalance feels like it doesn't matter as much, right? Because there's not a real. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. If he gets. There it oh is. So Dark Moon's coming in almost this dead. This 2011 is still working. Dark Moon's coming in literally Why is KJ dead. allowing this to happen? And now we do have the mix-up on Virgil and X-Factor available on deck. Oh, oh my, my god. I'm done. I'm yeah. done. I'm done. 
Oh my god, that was funny as hell. I'm not even I, I have I have now officially checked out. <laughs> I have Let's, checked out. I can't believe it. the worst counter super in this whole game that used to be pretty good actually works. So alright, sick. Let's go, DXP, screw it. I'm now a DXP fan. <laughs> that was seriously one of the most disrespectful things I've ever seen. Just plain and simple. But now, again, let's get back to basics. If you're KJ, let's not complicate this. Let's just do what we need to do. Play it out. Play the matchup. Big punish on the Ryu right now. Oh, and we find Iron Man for a second, but he falls out. out. But yeah, but she doesn't really capitalize too well on uh, happy birthday situations if, he's, if she's like kind of a little, little walking situation. But you know, almost had that half health almost on Ryu. You know, you can't, oh my god, and there goes Virgil. <laughs> there he goes. X Factors, why? Vaporized. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, it's gone from bad to worse, unfortunately. Oh, no, man. Yeah, this, this is, is not working. This is dire, dude. This is unfortunate. DJ, because you just going to pick Nemesis or something. I could have given you the tools. He's going to die, and oh, dude, he's doing. He's doing super. As yeah, I was gonna say, Virgil's coming in basically dead. He's got a lot of work to do. He's got so much work to do, man. I mean, Virgil's good. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh! He went for the delayed super. Just to try to get a little Iron Man in there, too. I think we need a birthday here. If we really want to make this comeback a lot easier, faster. Okay, that was kind of clean. Watch out for the upper That's cap, a lot of resources, though. Go to the office tag, which is actually beneficial here, because he can let Ryu build a little bit more life back. That was the correct combo. That was the correct combo for KJ. So now we're going to be able to kill Iron Man, and Ryu is within one touch reach, but without spinning a bar, which would mean he was in a, he would be in a decent position to actually kill Wesker. Ooh, bro. Watch out for the cross-up. Oh, teleport was a cool idea. I like it. Literally a cross up with the maximum Wesker could do it here too. A little bit there, and there's the gunshot. And just like that, DXP showing off his uh, superiority on the best team to ever DXP knock off target Excedrin. Appreciate it. Well, he's gonna run it for the rest of the tournament, surely now, right? <laughs> like, he's gonna he's gonna play it again, right? Probably. But at least we don't have to see that now. We get to see an actual team, Joker and Ethan, coming up. Uh, don't think these guys play t uh, against each other tonight, so uh, he appreciated to see it. Actually, wait, I think they did they earlier. Did they did play, yeah. absolutely. They did, I yeah, right at the now. beginning of the tournament. Yeah, I was remembering the point mirror. That's right. So this is a big chance now. Um, Joker, I think, well, I mean, now that his Iron Man is already almost dead. I was going to say, I think typically enjoys an assist advantage, but it's a weird thing with with the Dark Comrades, right? Because it it doesn't play into the neutral, but it still plays a critical role. Right. So I really think that it's it's kind of mitigated in the overall game plan of these two teams, but hey, Joker getting a big conversion here that's going to put him actually right ahead. Whoa! What whoa, a... Whoa, how, that's whoa, never dropped whoa, like that before. Whoa, 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 what? How did that whoa? happen? Huh? Wait a minute, did he fall down before that worked? What? I thought that I... was just in time. He, it must have just been like the last decade. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what he's saying. That is such a horrible thing to happen on Joker's side. And because of that drop, you still do have Sentinel to be fair, but that's such a crucial and unfavorable drop that you just can't help but feel for him. He's got two bullets in the gun there. Okay, he's had to use one. And we're going to reset back to neutral here, but the, yeah, the soul is going to be an immediate problem for Sentinel. Immediate problem. He's going to lane out a little bit, but there's going to be another Astral Vision right behind this. <laughs> it's going to be brutal. Yeah. He's going to milk every ounce of this. Uh, it does right, well, there, there is, there's the kill on Doom, so that's at least a huge part of the problem. Like, you not only still only have to deal with Astral, you don't have to really deal with missiles anymore, but because of how big body this character is, you really don't need missiles to help it. <laughs> but you do need one boot and a dream. Yeah, well, unfortunately, they, was that a weird And with the throw, not able to convert. Oh, he threw it all on black with the command throw. 
I appreciate the effort from Joker, but that's what happens when it misses. Whoa, and that, hold on. What? Hold on. Hold oh, on. Oh my god. Oh. Don't please don't please don't do this to my soul. <laughs> I think the command grab must have been slightly too early because it looked like it was a good distance, but yeah, it's just unfortunate. Joker does love those run-up command grabs, really. It's like one of his go-to classes. Well, let's oh, see yeah. if uh, Joker could kind of like, hopefully not let that loss like take him too much because he really did perform well that time. It's just, you know, unfortunate drop there and another drop at the end. So let's see if he can actually kind of keep it together and uh, actually get that confirmed if he does get another hit. With the attitude that Escalante is bringing to these matches, though, since going into loser's bracket, I would not feel great playing from behind. I mean, yeah, this this for is sure. a pretty tough task, so Joker's gonna have to get really, I mean, ahead here. And he's doing a good job by punishing the sys calls by actually pushing Magneto out. Okay, wow. this is another great setup. Yeah, and again, he's spending the resources to get her out, which again, you know, does does actually get him in a better spot since he now actually does have Astral. But still, at least with Magneto being at the top of the screen, you're gonna have to like kind of force a way to bring it back down. Hey, it, it's weird to think that like S is still in a decent position here. Ooh, especially hitting that that triple soul drain. That is oh. gross. That even the odds so much. Look, now it's suddenly like I was just in, like trying to explain that it looked better for Joker, but now it just it looks terrible for Joker. <laughs> He does have her Pulsar, so, okay, well, he also doesn't have a, a Iron Man anymore. I was about to say, like, that does help against with the Astral on both sides sometimes, especially with, like, that blast at the end. But Iron Man is too good of a character. We got to get rid of him. Bro, oh, no. What a, okay, that was, that was really needy, and that was super good. Thank you, your Senpai, for subbing. That was a perfect time to sub for that. But wow, that was a super good confirm. Now, Ethan, super in the driver's seat now, 2-0. He definitely can squeak it out oh now. Let's see. God. Yeah, I think that Joker has demonstrated a really high competence in the mirror matchup up front. Um, no complaints there whatsoever. I just think that when it comes down to Iron Man's impact versus Morgan's impact, we really felt the weight of Morgan so far. So. Oh, yeah. You gotta find something else for Joker. There's gotta be another gear in here, whether it comes from the Iron Man or the Sentinel. I don't know, but there's gotta be something that oh that's brutal. A side TAC or uh, and even like him trying to just super super out. That's the second time where he just swung at and just tried to super when Morgan's on screen. Her buttons are too fast for that active. Play. Right. Eating it right now, nice factor there, and really you know what? Here. And even spending it just to try to get as much off of Sentinel as possible. Again, with the chip damage, it's going to be on Iron Man too. This is super rough on Joker. I have to agree because if I'm if, dude, this thing sounds so bad. If I have to look at Sentinel versus Iron Man, I'm taking Sentinel as my anchor any day of the week, and having him basically be almost dead already. Even though Escalante doesn't have X Factor anymore. Oh, that's such a hard decision to make right there for Joker. I don't even hate it. It's just hard to make. Oh, huge! Huge! Oh, he did the he did the smart bomb too early. If he went back down to the ground, he would have been able to confirm. And there's the yep. I I think this is curtains. I think this is 3-0 Ethan. Again, I don't really like to try to count him out too early here, but this is four bars on Sentinel. It's just man, the way that Ethan, like you said, the that's that he came in coming from losers, you know, it's a different, it's a different beat, so. Oh, no. I feel like, I feel like for it to end like this, it feels inappropriate because of the level of play that Joker brought tonight, and we had so many good matches from watching him, and I mean, it's always a, a tremendous treat watching that team and that team has that ability to do that. It doesn't matter. What character he's playing against, what the matchup is. Thank you, Speedy Steve, for the gift of sub to Ham Baxter. But uh, really a difference maker. And of course, we're going to start with Hagger up front. Magneto is going to be holding it down in the anchor position as per his usual team setup for Jason. And Dead X Pride is not playing any games this time. He's going to go straight to the real stuff. 
All right, my migraine is now all gone. Now we can actually speak <laughs> DXP here with a normal team this time. Because he knows that, like, even on the ADMS, this team does still, like, do a tremendous amount of work. And if he wants to play and win to beat Jason, Ooh. gotta have this one. So what? That Dude, confirms that all that's needed to just go straight into this setup. And, of course, the stalking player. This is, uh, this is really hard. Yep, it's just tough. It's the game plan, right? Landing on the, the stalking flare, landing on the flame carpet, and just being the person with aggro in the corner. Uh, he has to play this pretty carefully because he needs to get a kill on Dr. Doom, but still putting him in a decent enough situation that he can try to fight Strider before he gets going. I mean, this is honestly like one of the hardest anchors in the game to fight against, especially when. Oh, oh dude, that's not going to work. Who's the win? He do. Oh my goodness, Jason with the third eye awakened. Goodness me. Putting him right back into the corner. No super, actually. It's, oh my god. Jason, get him. Ugh, let's go. I love it. Yeah, that was disgusting. That was absolutely filthy. While we're going back to character select here real quick, I want to double back just very quickly on Speedy Steve, who just don donated uh, a sub to the channel. It was the first gifted sub to the channel. And I want to say how cool it is when someone gives a gifted sub to TNS on, for the first time on the Friday night for Marvel 3. It is so awesome to see how many people have been able to step up and support oh, Sniper oh as ZX Fry donates two of his best characters to the cause of Jason uh, making a run back to Grand Finals. Yeah, we really appreciate the gifted uh, character subs here, you know, with two of the best ones being on the team. So, you know, we love we love to see it. We <laughs> we love the the Jason kiddo just steamrolling, don't we? You know? Dude, it's, it's hard. It's, I mean, it's easy to say, like, you know, protect your assists, etc., and like the traditional Marvel wisdom, but that pipe makes no sense. <laughs> it, it should not collect the bodies that it does, but it, it still does. Ten years later, it's still reaching far beyond you ever expected to have the ability to. Do. All right. Well, I thought that we were gonna go back to Ryu for a second. My heart stopped, but all right. At least, at least he can, like, if he has to make the comeback with three straight, I would just prefer to be on this. I really don't want to see that Ryu again. But, I know, it's going to be really hard, you know. Really a dominate performance on Jason's side. And, of course, DXB, you really... Oh, good. Okay, speak about DXB having a better team. When he just gets hit with the pipe like that. Well, uh, he does have something starting here. And, oh, we've seen DXB have those in the past. He actually drops it here. I mean, no surprise he's playing on tough MS, so... That's expected. Another chance at a conversion here. Oh, we're not going to get enough to kill. And even after the crossover rapid slash with the Doom Beam, Agri still survives. He still has Virgil. Probably going to get the punish on that. He does. A little wash machine here, but has to really, like, spend a lot of time to kill on that Dormammu. I don't know if he's actually going to be able to do it here. Is he going to do snap? Okay. All right, take what you can get, you know. Pretty simple mix-up you can get on Hagar for sure. Bit of a hard kick there too. Not able to confirm off that. All right. Really like the matchup that you have here against with the Dormammu and Dr. Doom. Pushing back over to Magneto, which is much better for sure. Want to try to build as much bar as you can without spending the resource itself to kill Doom. Very nice. <laughs> I, I, Ooh, man, I hate this. Under two. Oh my god, in a blink of an eye, he just drops him. And of course, a Virgil player is going to be ready for that. Down team is going to and you're going to get the orbs on top of Wow, all right. DXP's here to win. Big turnaround. Big turnaround. There he we doesn't go. drop okay. these. Yeah, all that's right, clean. All right, all right. All right, 2-1. DXP's back on the board, just like that. And if we get a Virgil game here, just at this... Oh, okay, that's oh not going to do it. Jason with the automatic challenge on this Virgil on round, like beginning of 99 seconds. How do you worked do that? out perfectly with that jab. How do you do that? How do you literally just hit light against Virgil at 99 seconds, dude? That is that's a, that's a lot of components, as I would say, for sure. Got the full setup. Okay, good block on the low. Yeah. And the oh. backdrop! Oh, I love big bodies, man. 
I love big bodies. I love every single one of them, dude. It's so good to see them in action in a high tier, high tier level, that, dude. I think that's the first one that we've seen from Jason on the backdrop tonight. So yeah. what a perfect placement to do that on the up back there. Very well done, Jason. Again, working all the tools of his character. Ooh. Oh, that was really smart. Actually, like being in the way of the Strider Dash, so that way he doesn't cross up or anything. So what right. do we do here? Yeah, we get the kill on Hagger, and we have. Oh boy. Well, we have and a tough he, situation. He certainly can do it. He just he is out of all the resources that he can with like just kind of just do whatever you want here. He does have to play a little more honest, especially now since X Factor is just about to be gone, and this character does almost no damage. So he has to really just get those hits and get them That's honest up. here. That's one. He's like eight more probably though. That's two. That's three. See, we're counting them down. It's 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 not that he has yeah problems finding it. Strider's mix is incredible, and his movement is incredible. He's got all kinds of options. But you're right. He has to get every single one of these to actually make it count, and he does. Just like that, two two. Unbelievable. And this is 80 MS. Away. He did that yeah. off of the confirm that he knew that the dash down was going to confirm and it was just easy peasy from there. 2-2 two to two DXP. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie because Jason has been playing well and another early punish on the Strider assist. You thought he was going to be able to make something of it, but nope. This could be a Virgil game. We could just see Virgil kind of run away with this. He might spend a win here on the wake up. No, choosing to respect it. I was gonna get punished on that if he did try to swing. All right, stalking player. Tries to, I don't think he met that. He probably just wanted to get the assist call, but you know, still not that bad of a situation. He didn't really lose much, just kind of spending that snap. Well, we do get a, a punish here, and we don't exactly have enough meter, so we go for the snap, snap instead, and I don't hate that. I think that's a pretty good idea, because obviously the Strider's been pretty problematic in both wins. Uh, just like that, the office tag actually working out perfectly there. Perfect in time so that way he doesn't get punished. Caught the legs. It didn't actually even end up comboing, but he was able to get another confirm after the mix-up. We have to be so careful, right? Because it's Virgil and Strider. These are the two problem characters back-to-back. -back. How you calculate your spending your resources is critical right now. Yeah, there's another one. Let's go spin it and break him. Let's go. That was a crazy, just raw read, too. I'm like, dude, Jason is so fearless. That's what I'm saying when, he's, when I'm in. Like, he makes you play at his pace. He doesn't care who you are. Oh. Uh, and that was a little bit early on the X Factor. He tried to go for it again, and Jason was ready for it. Just, again, a little bit early at the XP. All right. Ha. Oh, this chip is certainly real. He now has three bars, and now he's going to jet probably just enough to kill Dormammu here if he goes for it. All right, well, doesn't actually need the orb blow. Does probably have to just go for a regular level three though. Ooh, that maybe, maybe. Right? That would have oh happened my again. God. You can't even rely on the cats and dogs. No oh, way. Stop. Right, well, this re again isn't bad at all for Magneto. Wasting all of this time and not being able to build a bar on top of that too. Does get the throw, Dude. but still needs another one. Dude, oh, that hit. Able to confirm, and there it is. He fought for his life, but I certainly appreciate the effort that he did with a fantastic performance coming up from losers. Just yeah. Being winners with the Dante and everything that I think really made the difference, you know, stuff that he's been working on, that's congratulations already a little bit. I know he wants more, and a win against Monday would be huge. But a disastrous start. I feel like Monday read that. Yeah, it even with that, it's like you have to pretty much guess based on the like the positioning when he does start the maximum Wesker. It just so happens that Monday was right in the middle of the screen and was still able to block. Don't know what side it was, but he blocked the right way. Dude, Monday, I feel like faded fate, that. Like just jumped into it and was ready for the for the super, and now he's just kind of steamrolling. So. It's been an unfortunate start. Akuma will get a shot at it. Now, the only positive that really does come out from Legend now is that you are going to come down with your super at the start to get out of any situation here. And you have to spend that X. But of course, Monday is very well known for this. Push blocks at the perfect time. So he doesn't get that chop overhead. 
And now this is oh. like now a tasting game at this point. And Akuma actually doesn't have a very long X Factor time. That was like another one of the nerfs from vanilla to ultimate. So it's even with that hit on Nova, it's like he he does get the kill on either oh. ball, just swinging, of course. <laughs> like he's got nothing to lose. Even if he lost like the matchup against you know with Akuma there, he still had Magneto to back it up. So. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Pretty impressive. I mean, Mundank has been my uh, my sort of one to keep the eye on, and it's just, it's not really, uh, it's not a weakness. There's not anything I can comment that says that it's going to be a problem for him. All right, so he doesn't go for the max on Wesker this time. Actually, he chooses to swing again and not respecting what Wesker's got. Go for another grab, but actually really good on Mundank to break it. Yeah, I just don't know, like... If you get hit on Mundank and you leave it on the table, it's a disaster because I just don't feel like he is somebody who does the same very often, right? He doesn't leave second opportunities out very much. It's just touch and death. Touch and death. Yep. Absolutely. And bring it back again with the Nova with a bad matchup too. You really don't have to do much just to fight on this crit. Just the crossed up and just almost get that confirmed. Uh, it's really tough to see. I mean, Chris is defenseless, so there's there's nothing really. Again, it's not like a bad thing that Living Legend has done. It's not like the critical error that that was made. It's just this is Mundane's game. This is this is the playbook. This is written up exactly how he wants it to happen. And even with that missed opportunity, there it goes for level three. And guess what? I got a human rocket. Just what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Bro. Okay, wow. Anyone want to get the clip Bro. of that one? <laughs> that was great. That was such so, a weird interaction. Extremely he weird. Had, he had the right idea. He shot at the perfect times to where Nova would actually get the hit. So that was oh. just, you, you never see that actually work out for Chris. Oh, wait Should a minute. Kill? Oh, wait. Just Spencer on the incoming two with the force on the block. She's gonna back off. This is great for Chris. Okay. Living Legend gave him respect, which I understand, but ends up catching the bionic arm anyways. And now it's all about can Akuma escape the situation? No. Ooh, I really man. feel bad about that one. He he had the right idea to back up, stay away from Spencer, just kind of let him come to you, but. Now at this point, it's really going to be hard. On a three straight for Legend, Legend has yet to win a TNS, but if, if this is one to win it, he would absolutely have deserved it coming out throughout beating everybody that he's beaten so far. But got one more one more hurdle and then into Grand Finals, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case right now. I think losing Wesker is kind of big too because you want him to be able to challenge the more mobile characters like Nova. And Magneto. So now you're again relying on Chris, but he just has to hold the incoming. There's absolutely nothing he can do. No bust out, no real option, nothing. And with that said, Mundank gives him the right recipe to find another hit, and immediately it comes right back to Akuma. Oh, yeah, I thought he had to be ready for a second, but this is again another last ditch effort. He's gonna have to try to like, yeah, maybe Gallic gun it. Actually messes up a little bit on that and pushes that back in. Okay, wow. that's still a throw. Can't really convert there. Almost out of X Factor 2. He has to make a hit now. Gotta make a count. Good break from Mundank. Ah, uh, and yeah. As sad to say as it is, Mundank is just too on point with this team. It counters so much of what Legend has. Legend's gonna have to try to just stake it out in the loser's finals, but you know, we'll see. Let's see if he can kind of get this run back on Mundank later. Yeah. That Spencer confirm was so complete and so crisp. You know, this is this is going to be really hard no matter who is going to be moving on for Legend, but let's at least see who's going to stake it out tonight. This is the run back. Jason narrowly with the win over Escalante the first time, and also, uh, 
I mean, when I say narrowly, I think there was a chance that Jason could have lost 3-0. So, you know, they basically squeaks through, and Escalante is going to bring that disgusting attitude that he's had in the rest of the matches to this run back, and it's already looking pretty good. Yeah. Honestly, like, I feel like he's kind of learned from, like, his mistakes in, like, the past matches against Jason. Making sure to get the kill on either the Magneto or the Dormammu is top priority. Because, of course, being one of the best Haggards, again, you, gotta, you can't preface it to no, oh, no Haggard. He had the headbutt, but didn't believe. And just like that, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This works, right? Yep, clears out the missiles so you get the confirm. Oh, baby. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, what's it? Oh my god, he didn't even get away from that! Oh, and then just geez. an SDP too? Is he gonna bring in Hagar? No, no he's gonna he, stick it out. Okay. Out. Yeah, oh absolutely. my god, the chase down! Jason, three steps ahead the whole match again! That was smart, man. You were looking for it. You knew that was an option. You went and found it and chased it down. Shout out to my boy Meta Knight Music. TNS baby, he says, you're absolutely right, it's a Friday night, we're in Loser Simmons, we're approaching the end of the night, it's the cream of the crop, thank you for the support, everybody. It's been strong. Jason has always played so solid in every TNS. He loses one character, it doesn't matter, he just grows the limb back right after that. <laughs> he is just so prepared, so well versed in these tournaments. Now back to the Hagar again. One pipe could do the trick. One pipe and all dream. See if he swung that time. No, he didn't. <laughs> Man, it, it's again looking pretty good for Escalante, but it just changed so fast for Jason last time. And I hate, I hate to even call it an advantage at any, any point. All right, Ethan's still looking pretty good though. Got. Dormammu and Hagar both at around half health, so he's still put looking really nice. But again, with Jason, you just can never really count him out. Not even like until, until like really all the characters are dead. You really can't count this guy out. But he is playing so well. Escalante high up on the health right now and also doing very well on the resource game. He strangled all the meter out of Jason. But we saw this in the first match one time where Jason was floating around the same life on all his characters. So it was dying, you know, 30 or, so, 30 or so percent. And he was able to run it back. So let's see if he can do it again. All right, does lose the back needle this time. But again, a lot of the matches that he won last time on Jason still had both Hagar and Dormammu. So... Pretty much like how it was in the last set. Let's see if he can kind of like slow it down and, you know, one more. Just need one more character done. Uh, and there it is. Ooh. Almost messed it wait. up. It's, actually still did. Didn't actually get the dash back down. Okay, he actually might punish this. X-Factor. Uh, I like how he tried to like just get out of that so he wouldn't get punished. But, you know, the super is already there. So, good stuff to Ethan. Great decision. 1-1. One, one, ties it up. Oh, big opportunity for Jason right off the start. Again, I was saying about the pipe, man. It just finds targets. It shouldn't be able to do it that way, but it just finds them. And I hear that they have homing missiles as the homing pipe. No matter where you go. No matter where you go, it's coming for you. And now, spending, again, the resources to get Morgan out. She is honestly, like, pretty a good, decent uh, anchor. It's just that now without any bar, she has to force the incoming and to force him to block. She just can't really get that started when Dormammu just stays higher in the air above her. It does look bad. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's a good character, don't get me wrong. But winning from this position with no meter against three characters against... With a character who has a great lane game and can, you know, stifle a lot of things, but not really known for mix-ups, right? At least not... Not without some setup. Not without some very particular setup. Yeah, now we just kind of have to wait. Just have Hagar just kind of wait it out. Go for the super here. He might actually get hit from the other fireball coming? No, actually. This is all like a big W for, you know, for Jason here. He just can't really make too many mistakes here because of course one could really be Spelling bad for a Morgan player. He's trying. And there's okay, the one there grab. Oh. That's it. Two one goes up with the lead, Jason. 
Escalante wanting this run back, and I think playing pretty damn well. Playing, playing very well. Just man, Jason's hitting another level right now. He's, he's hungry. He's hungry to find Monday. <laughs> oh, I like it. And Let's again, the counter. It's just it's so proficient, you know. Jason's playing really patient. It's it, I keep saying it over and over, but it's so easy to get frustrated and, and want to jump into these soul fists or just make a mistake or try to force something. But he's not. He's paying attention. He's watching the thing. He's trying to find his opportunities. This way to turn it, that back back early though is super credential for Ethan to really start getting things in order for his momentum. It's just it didn't really matter at this point since now he just gotta again press the issue. We see this a lot from Escalante, he's pretty okay with burning the X-Factor a little earlier, but it's because he doesn't have one of the really big traditional anchor characters right, so it's not such a devastating decision when he does it, and he usually gets a lot out of it, so... Even though Jason Kiddo will have the X-Factor advantage going for the rest of this match, I don't think Escalante's position is bad at all until that. This is the second time that's been a problem. In the oh, I, I don't even know if he actually crossed up with that. That looked like it was a little bit late. But I think maybe Ethan tried to swing oh, and he yeah, snatched him. there it is. He's gonna build snatched the bar him. for level three, and SCP is not really gonna be a factor, especially when it comes to like this beefy team that Jason's got. Actually, TAC is on top of that too. Wow. Yeah, I think he just barely didn't have enough. So. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. The concede. Didn't actually pause this time, so he already kind of knew. That's such a like. He yeah. could have made that for sure come back because Ethan is like very well versed into getting this team down. Oh, it is what kind of brought him to like reverse into you know winners finals too. Right. So right. you know what, going up against a team like this with Dante really isn't all that bad. But and what? Let's see yeah. if he can actually keep it together and actually get through this bulldozer known as Jason Kiddo. Why wouldn't you want jam session against Magneto either, right? I mean, it's yeah. a no-brainer. So if you're even slightly comfortable with playing the team and playing the setup, I, I have to imagine this is why you're learning that stuff. Oh, that's huge. It's gonna get weird though. Does, okay, Chris arrived. Heavy expect early, but this is extremely crucial on you know Living Legend to kind of survive this incoming, and actually does get away. Like, Trade. Okay. Bet it all, just seeing what sticks, and that should be it. Very nice. Very nice punish. This is going to be a super quick kill, so we save a whole bunch of X Factor time and have a big mix up. Oh no, but that's cool. Oh, <laughs> this could be it. This is his chance. Oh. No, he had to delay it, and wow, Whoa. still actually had to confirm with that dive kick. What? He's confirmed launcher off the dive oh, kick? That no. was pretty sick. Jason, let it go. That was pretty sick. All you need is just the Akuma, an X Factor, and a standing launch. That's all you need. Legend really pulled it out of that one. I don't know how, but of course, Legend still proving that he is still living and a legend at this point. He's not out yet. He's not going to make this, you know, too easy for you, Jason. You got to put it on. I love hard. it. I love it, man. I love it so much. He let the demon out and he ran wild. So he's had one of those games from Living Legend, but you can't really count on too many Akuma comebacks. So, oh man. We want to see something get started by Chris, but it's hard. Uh, Jason is prepared. Now he's respecting the Akuma, too. He's like, yeah, I think we've identified the problem. Oh no! Can he let him? He let him out again! Okay, okay, let's see Let's see the Dante do some work. Okay, great block. He, the, the hard tag was definitely gonna punish that. See if he can Psycho Crusher through that again. You actually could be able to if you were closer enough. Ha! Man. <laughs> I, I like what Living Legend is doing. Unfortunately, he gets hit, but it makes me happy. He's actually playing a solid match. Losing the Dante here sucks a lot, but... You know, for a character that's pretty new for him and, and relatively just coming into the fold, I like what I'm seeing. Uh, but Jason, he's, he's got a round building here. This is one of the ones he could run uh, away with. That was well, a good idea. What an idea. I, I like to get him out of that situation. He knows he needs this character to survive. And leaving with just Chris on his own, it's just better <sighs> to just get yourself out of that. But he gets 
right back in with a throw. You're back in this corner, sir. <laughs> this, is a, this is a Jason match. This is this is gone by the book. This is everything he... Okay. Uh, he needs, like... <laughs> actually made me sit up. This character does damage, but off of a throw, his, his scale is quite high. So he does need to spend all of his resources now. This is good. This is really good. I mean, okay. he's massively down, but this is... Oh, okay. This is killer. He gets the conversion. And this is gonna kill. That will kill. It's still the anchor Magneto, though, and he's still living. Okay. Oh, we are tags! Actually, and that... Okay. Well, Magneto's a fair and balanced hoo cha hoo hoo cha character. Okay. Well done. Well done by Jason. That was that was good awareness. Really, really good awareness. Because, yeah, I don't care if it's Chris and no X Factor. At this point, any of Legend, Living Legends characters, you don't want to let off the hook. All right, here we go. Back into neutral. And let's see if Chris can actually make something happen here. Because so far, he hasn't had any really home run advantages against Dolmamu. Dolmamu's been kind of just able to sit in that space of the screen where he's safe. Oh, and there's and it, another dude. birthday. The flame cover actually messed it up, kind of, because it hit both and just kind of staggered them both out of there. Wasn't really able to, like, X-Factor confirm. Not bad. Not bad. That was that was a, a weird situation that Living Legend kind of gets out of. And even though his oh, character is He had to believe that would have confirmed. That's a, been a little bit of a theme. He can still make this happen, for sure. Using the shotgun to just try to bring Dormammu back down to the ground and actually get that Magnum. But again, not really able to confirm there. This is such a weird situation because I feel like Living Legend is playing well and kind of trolling the, the neutral, but look at his team. Look how bad he's kind of hurting all over. That is very true. And I don't know if we really shouldn't X Factor this because it is just Hagar and he chooses. To, all right, well. Mm. I'll leave my words there, and he still mm. had, because of the Magnum, he didn't have the wall bounce either. Oh, that's right. He recognized that. Oh. Very good so point. I didn't think of that. a better situation. Granted, Dante does does very well against the Hagar. It's not really a great situation you want to put yourself in, losing X-Factor just to get nothing out of it. It's a big test for the legend Dante right now. If he, he needs to actually play a very clean match here he needs to work this dante for the entire life bar don't throw it away okay okay Very well done that is one he's choosing to go like a little lazier combo which is fine you know you still have the dhc to kill so he's still got plenty of time I like it keep it simple you know this is not your main chicken don't have to get too <laughs> too spicy Ooh, combo was a pretty good oh, not quite not quite there and great recognition too. Jason knew that the flame cover was there, so he kind of backed up a bit, so he wouldn't be able to like stop that combo. You kill Chris Redfield here. No. Not quite again. Wow. And there's the confirm with the hard tag. Oh my goodness! Is Living Legend actually gonna make this happen? It's gonna be it's two one if he can kind of keep it down. There's 18 Marvel seconds left, and Dormammu can for sure clean sweep this Bro. whole team. That's no one. way. This is going to be so much work for Dormammu, who's got to build some meter to even get a level 3 kill. But Akuma, you're right, is a very low HP character, so it's technically still possible. He's got to find something soon. Living Legend playing very non-incommittal. This is totally what he's doing. This do. is exactly how he should play it. He should honestly spend his meter for Devil Trigger to get himself a little bit more of the flight. Because now at this point, even with the time left, he might be able to get one touch just in time. Uh, no, he didn't even kill. It. Okay, Legend actually squeaking it out 2-1. Bro, Living Legend is up 2-1 right now on the Texas Showdown Champion, Jason. And shout out to Luis for the 200 biddies in the chat. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Back into the neutral situation. Oh Chris finally gets the big hit. Oh, my God. Not really able to get anything out. And Hard Tags again and not recognizing his Legend. We got the early 50% damage on Dormammu, and we get some okay. tags here on Hagar. Look, Look at the situation. He is putting the fire on the screen so he can establish the neutral against the Hagar. Oh, I'm not really sure what Jason's thinking, like putting the Hagar in. He missed the jump back revolver, so he doesn't get the kill on Hagar, and then Jason's able to super, super out. Great blocks from Legend, okay. 
He's still not really in a bad spot. The meteors do come down, he will lose crit. But he does have three meters and he has enough time to get the touch. And there goes the hard tag Ooh, with the hammer! No. He wasn't oh, ready, he no. wasn't prepared. Damn. He had a chance to actually make that pickup. And now instead he's going to lose to Dante. No, he's actually oh, this is so smart. Yeah. And there's yeah, there's that cross up. Wasn't really prepared Dirty. for that. And I don't know if his Dante is gonna be on the level to make sure like make this comeback. And with this. It could be it. He that dropped. Drop. Oh, no, it drop. no. Oh, it doesn't choose a DHC either. Double trigger. Okay. Oh, this is so good. This is huge. So he's going to get all this health back on his Dante and his Akuma. And he still has a healthy meter lead. But both teams with X Factor. Oh, oh bro, no. He's he is so swinging. You could tell, like, when Dante players do that, you're trying to get the box dash H and you get those air guns. That's, you see that a lot when it's not really fine tuned to get that instantly. Well, we get another situation for Akuma here. We have one more chance for him to hit the ground and make something and happen. But he just bro, oh. That was such a heartbreaker. Legend is still okay. He still has one more game, but that really was a game that he could have taken. So. Let's see if Legend can actually squeak it out. Is he gonna switch out? Is he gonna keep the Dante? He's gonna keep oh, the Dante. Okay. Good choice. Good choice. You're giving yourself the best tool of the win. Now you just have to execute. We get the throw under Mamu. He burns the X Factor. I like it. Let's make this nice and clean. Use everything you can to make it as efficient as possible. We get the flamethrower and we go straight into the level one trooper. All right. Gonna have a really good setup here, especially since Hagar really can't do anything. He's trying to escape the fire <laughs> as much as he could, which is very smart. And there's the spin to win. He actually might miss, has to X Factor. Ooh, this is weird because, yeah. Oh, huge drop! Huge drop. Chris gets in space again. And the, <laughs> yeah, he knew it. He knew that he was gonna try to get Chris out. He had to. Oh, this could be it. I don't know. X Factor's still on it. And the, oh, with the fake out. Tries to get that. Oh my goodness. He is two steps ahead. See it down like this, but so far, Jason is making an example of his three. Game. Yeah. He's going to have to do this on a no X Factor comeback, Akuma. So he, ha he can't just wait and then just team super to try to get out. He has Ooh. to do this completely Ooh. on it. This is the he start. The double keeper. No. Start. He could have had the double super there. Oh, he goes for the oh, he's, overhead. He it all. It. He put it all on that and really got away with it. There's the pipe. And with that confirmed, he's in low health. Should be able to kill here. Oh, uh, legend. Uh, is that it? Oh, my goodness, man. I feel so bad. He had that in the last round. And if it was any person to try to get a run back on Monday again, multiple times over, and they've played each other in grand finals multiple times over. So you guys know the deal. You guys know what's going on. Let's see who's going to take it tonight. Monday gets out immediately, gives respect to the pipe. I think that's a smart thing to do. You don't want to just go right in and, you know, get pulverized. So this, this is a good start. But he gets thrown, and I feel like... What we saw was the snaps, right? The snaps were really an effective start. Are we going to go right back to that strategy? No, go to the TAC. Go for a TAC to try to get it uh, for the boring infinite. But it doesn't actually work out. The spin to win actually takes it. I mean, it's a huge turnout for Jason. I mean, you burn the X Factor, absolutely. But uh, I think it's worth it. Nova is so, so much of a oh. pacemaker. He had the hit, too, again, with that cross-up. But not able to actually hit. Stalking clear. Just to make it safe, to do it for sure. There, I was about to say, there's the biotic arm and the confirm on top of that too. Ooh, Not it's a little weird. Bad. Yeah, accidentally falls out of the pickup. So now, I mean, this is this is really bad because this Spencer mix-up has been high percentage. Oh, he gets out. That was definitely a mistake there. And now, actually, taking a little bit of time for Monday to realize that the rocks would hit. And just like that, the winner Monday taking it over. All right, but Mamu's gonna be the last chance here. No X Factor either. And there it is. <laughs> Launch train to X Factor. Don't even have to do anything else. Train to rocks or just Cooper again. All right. 
All right, one on the board. Mundake is trying to do this fast. Doesn't want to give Jason any leg group, not even a game to win, so. A reset would be terrible. You do not want to face Jason in a reset. It is it's a daunting task to have to run it back against his team another three games. You want to have a decisive lead. You, okay, gets the, gets the stun on the assist, but can't make anything of it, and actually gets his toes clipped. Let's see if he's actually going to try to TC. He does TC again. I wonder if it was the same side because he broke it last, but we don't know what side that could have been. Right, body crush just to try to get out. And that actually might... Okay, sometimes that little uh, explosion is a little bit weird. Sometimes it just kind of hits no matter what you do. But I guess like the arm had a little bit more involved than to not really get hit by that. So... Mama's trying here. I mean, the mama has to be very careful because there's so many different bionic arm opportunities that would just ruin his entire life. So he has to be so precise, and he can't just do the normal charge spells. Oh my goodness! And that's it. This is what he needs. Actually, gets to confirm with that flame carpet this time. Wow. Now we have Nova. Oh, oh he gets hit meaty. Yeah, tries to bust out immediately and just gets hit with that meaty H. Jason, critical response. Shuts down the momentum of Mundane. Ties it up 1 1. Still chasing that reset, but you definitely don't want to go down 0 2. So, great joy. Oh boy. And he oh, just turned around his birthday. For you too, buddy. <laughs> DAC all the way through. We got an assist available. Why not? Drops out. Convenient. Uh, gonna have to do that. He doesn't actually have arm to really make that, just to confirm and punish that. So he was actually in a good spot. I don't think he was gonna really want to risk using the X Factor. He'll spend the X Factor now. <laughs> Lover man, we're happy to have you, bro. If it's your first time watching Marvel 3, trust me, you've come to the right place because it's as good as it's gonna get. And right now, Mundank is looking as good as you can. Hacker left is going to be a nightmare scenario and it's actually not even going to matter because the incoming setup is perfect. Alright, wow. let's see if Monday, he only needs one more game. I mean, Turn it's not people like trying to have a little bit of uh, bison dollars in here just to try to see what's going to happen on here if it's going to be a reset. Hey, Jason is not making that happen right now, so... Dude, the... The hit rate of the low slide in this set has been massive. Monday has been just opening him up with that. Man, we really need to see Jason kind of like really stepping into gear now because this is literally tournament point. If he wants to stick it around and like win tonight, he's got to make things happen now. And it doesn't look like it's going to happen as long as he can kind of keep it together here. Goes oh, for the oh big PAC, and that, he's only pulled that out twice tonight. Gotta oh, always keep boy. your opponent guessing, and now is the perfect time to go for it. Is it? Right, that's the super. And has to, he wasn't really ready to punish that. That's such a shame, because now with that... <laughs> Looks like Dude. your fitness champion for number 80 tonight is Monday. Who saw that coming? Let's go. 3-1. to one. What a great tournament. But Monday's taking it tonight. We hope you guys loved that time. That whole set was 